Welcome, everybody. This is the day after after party of the Ghost to Ghost Halloween special here on Pop City Culture. Four kids by kids. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Welcome to the most listened to international podcast around the world. Hakeem and Reggie Brown are two young African-American boys speaking the truth. This is Pop City Culture. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Oh, my God, we had such a blast last night when we did our Ghost to Ghost Halloween second annual special. Oh my God, it was so good. We were just talking about stories and we were up last night making marshmallows by the fire. Oh my God, it was so fun. It was off the hook. Anyways, I'm going to introduce my older brother, Hakeem Brown. Take the baton, brother. Thank you there, Reggie. Yeah, that's right. So yesterday, it was really great. You know, we had an overwhelming response of people who were who were just excited about our Halloween special again. I mean, this was yeah, the that's true. It was really second good. one that we had, yep. mm-hmm. and uh, everybody loved it. They Every, loved I mean, it. It was unbelievable. Did you like it, Reggie? Oh, my goodness. I loved it. it the stories were out I of control. I know, right? And you I know? mean, it, it was so good. Mm-hmm. So, yep. you know, we went trick-or-treating, too, last night, and it was pretty cool. I mean, they didn't really have enforced any kind of a mask mandate. So, I mean, all the kids had masks on anyways. <laughs> Did, Reggie, did you have your mask on? Of course I have my mask on, man. I don't want to be getting sick, <laughs> okay, you know, Reggie. man. You know, so, what's wrong with you? you know, we just want to <laughs> tell everybody thank you for joining us um, on the Pop City Culture. And, you know, I, I, I don't know if, if people want to hear any more. Anybody want to hear any more ghost stories? Reggie, you want to hear any more ghost stories? Because, you know, I we do, do have... What? Pro- pro- let me see. What? We probably have a couple more. Let me, let me let me look here and see what we got. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Man, you unprepared again? I mean, just get on with it. Reggie, no, I don't have this all prepared today because I actually right. wasn't really thinking about any ghost stories. You gotta think ahead, but, man. You gotta think ahead. <laughs> you know, the ghost stories that we had last year, mm-hmm. I mean, they they were so... Um, scary. They were so scary. scary That's why I just that said. Everybody was like, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Can, mm. you know, can you guys tone it down next year? Nope. So, I don't, I don't want know, to tone it down, though. No. We just, you know, did what we did. But here's a yeah. story. This is called The 50 Cent Piece. I got to hear this one. I got to uh, hear this. So it goes like this. Okay, go on, go on. This is a story told in Troy and Albany about a couple returning home from a trip to New England. They were driving home in a carriage and were somewhere near Spigledale Town when the lights failed and they knew they would have to seek shelter for the night. The husband spied a light through the trees and turned (laughs) their horse into a small lane leading up a hill. A pleasant little house stood at the crest, and an old man and his wife met the couple at the door. They were in their night clothes and were obviously about to turn in, but they welcomed the travelers in and offered them a room. The old woman bustled about making tea and offering freshly baked cookies. Then the travelers were shown to their room. The husband wanted to pay the old couple for their lodging, but the old lady shook her head, and the old man refused any payment for such a small service to their fellow New Yorker. The travelers awoke early and tiptoed out of the house, leaving the shiny 50-cent coin in the center of the kitchen table where the old couple could not miss it. The husband hitched up the horse, and they went a few miles before they broke their fast at a little restaurant in Spingletown. The husband mentioned the nice old couple to the owners of the restaurant, and the man turned pale. Where did you say that house was, he asked. The husband described the location in detail. You must be mistaken, said the restaurant owner. That house was destroyed three years ago by a fire that killed the Brown family. I don't believe it, the husband said flatly. Mr. and Miss Brown were alive and well last night. After debating for a few minutes, The couple and the restaurant owner drove the carriage back out towards the town to the old place they had just stayed. They turned into the lane, which was overgrown with weeds, and climbed the hill to the crest, and they found a burned-out 
shell of a house that had obviously not sheltered anyone for a long time. I must have missed a track, said the husband. And then his wife gave a terrifying scream and fainted in his arms. As he caught her, the husband looked in the ruin and saw a burnt table with a shiny 50 cent piece lying in the center. Oh my God, we should have told that one last night. That was off that the was, hook, That was man. really scary. That was yes, scary. Yes, that was yeah. so scary. I love this. So party. anyways, everybody, <laughs> we, we want to tell you, you know, these are the kind of stories that we were telling last night. Mm -hmm. And we're very happy yep. that everybody just emailed us and, you know, they're giving us this great support. Um, for our show, because like we said, we, 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 we've been here for over a year now. Yeah, a little over a year. And we're still going strong, and we've yep. picked up a whole lot of radio affiliates. We got a lot. So a lot of people love what they hear. And we just want to take time out to thank everybody for joining us. Thank you, everybody. On our Halloween. Yep. After special after after, after party <laughs> after party <laughs> Reggie what is it the, the after, after party after, special after, after party <laughs> for special. Halloween <laughs> ghost to ghost so that being said everybody thank you so much you, you have anything to say Reggie I'm just gonna say I can't wait until next year when we do another one that'll be our third and I'm looking forward to this one that's gonna be real okay scary. so <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna say thank you for joining us here on. Pop City Culture for kids by kids. And thank you for making us the most listened to podcast around the world. Our success is your success. You can download our past podcasts and enjoy them any time of the day, morning, noon, or night. I'll see you next time here on Pop City Culture. And as always, be kind and affectionate to one another. Remember whose you are. Yo, man. There was a shiny piece, a shiny piece of mu a shiny dude. Do it. Are are you are you good there, Reggie? Huh? Shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.